Well, hello! My weight, my health. Go eat another chicken sausage, you friggin' weirdo. So Pete's went live and accidentally exposed his best friend Chantal. Plane fare is expensive though, so I mean like it's, she can't really afford to... Yeah, she needs to save up more money before she can visit again. Not something where she can pop over to Canada every few months. Every three months, no, she is... No, that's way too expensive. Intercontinental flights are not cheap. For a tourist visa? Flying from Kuwait to Canada, it's it's an expensive flight. Every three months you have to travel for a tourist visa. Oh well, that um, like she's just like hopping and hopping to another country, from what I understand. When she was here, she, there was like a you know, one time we hung out. She we also you know stopped in at my mom's and she explained to my mom that like she pops over to uh, Saudi Arabia, but basically she just pops across the border for a couple days. While her visa was, uh, while her visa renews, I do miss her. Chantal then went live to respond to Pete's and to make sure to let reaction channels know this is stale tea and that they don't have a one up on her. Oh, and her audio is pretty staticky. Just a heads up. As for the border hopping, at one point, yeah. Number one, I'm not going to talk about my visa status. I'm not going to confirm or deny anything because literally, it's no one's business. I don't know where the one up is and saying. Oh yeah, we were right. Who cares even if it was true? Who cares what visa I'm on here? You can't just come here. At first, yeah, it was a tourist visa and I would border hop somewhere sometimes. Yes, of course. So what? What's your point? I don't know what, like, can you please tell me what the T is? You don't just come here and get a visa. It's hard. They've changed the rules a lot. You don't know what my visa status is now. Even Pete's doesn't know because I haven't told him anything in a while. I used to border hop, yes. Now, I'm not telling you. For example, they've recently changed the rules where you can have a family visa here now. Like somebody, it depends on a lot of things. You have to have a certain amount of money and all this and that. Not, an, not like an unreasonable amount, but there's like criteria. And then, and Salah fits the criteria. So I'm just saying like they've changed things for family visas. I'm not saying that's what I'm doing. I'm not saying it's not what I'm doing. I'm not telling you on purpose. Like I don't want that privacy, pri uh, private information to be told for people to exploit it for views because they have nothing. All right. They're literally desperate that they have to make tea out of what my visa status is in a country as if that has any true meaning to their life, like whatsoever. I don't say I lied because I purposely was vague and I would say yes, no, yes, no on purpose. It's my life. It's my business, not yours. The need to have all of this information about my private life is insanely invasive and insanely pathetic for content. People don't understand why I hide my status. Because Stephanie, it's no one's business. And you are actually going to say why people are, why I keep these things private. Have you seen people call, say they're going to call the Kuwait authorities? I don't need people knowing all my business. Just like I don't show people my uh, marriage certificate. Like, no, 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 no. Yeah, no, they're not pulling me out of a peaceful place, but I'm definitely addressing it. And of, of course, Kuwait authorities are going to think that these people are just Islamophobic and stupid, which they are, and probably hang up on them, which they should. It's illegal. I mean, yeah, I think it's just more prudent to be very secretive about things like this. My friends do visa hopping every three months. Hi, Crystal. To the UK, Canada, it's fine. Exactly. Who cares? Genuinely, none of these things are anyone's business. And I'm not going to turn against Pete's. He's not going to turn against me. You can keep trying. It's not going to happen. That's okay, Jim. I'm getting content on it also. If I don't talk about it, Jimmy, they're going to get content out of anything. So it doesn't matter at this point. So that's that. That's the tea. That's the cold tea that is not going to go anywhere. And by the way, and whenever I was telling Pete's mom that, it, it meant when I was doing that. At one point, I was. Yeah, so it's no secret. By the way, you have to also leave the country to come back in with a new status. So womp womp, you really found out nothing. Um, they don't like that they can't get a one up on me because nothing they do has an effect on my life. Oh, but you're a public figure. Oh, okay, that makes it all much better. I'm just a YouTuber with 100K subscribers. I'm not a friggin' huge celebrity. Oh, you mean the subs you broke terms of service for and bought from a channel that knew nothing about you and has now asked all their viewers to unsubscribe from you? 
People are now reporting both Chantal and the channel that did the sub for sub with her and here's her response to that. Why would I be problematic when you are the ones reporting her? <laughs> I did nothing to her channel. So how is it me that's the problem? Idiots, that's what. So that's fine, whatever. I mean, you're not going to affect me. It's not my channel. I don't care. If I was just going to these people just for subs, like not just, I, want, I wanted to support and try to get support from a different community than just these vultures. I'm sorry. It's no scandal. I didn't get all these subs from that sub for sub. There's no way because I've grown almost 2,000 subs. Oh, and by the way, one more thing about the TACAD thing, okay? Don't come in here and act surprised that they're cursing me out or they're mad at me. I don't know if it's true. If it is, don't be surprised because you're the ones who went into her chat reporting her and instigating it. You wanted this reaction. You wanted these people to turn against me because you don't want me to have any supporters. Tackett is somebody that I went into their chat and was talking about like my subscribers and supporting like her channel and these people had barely didn't have many people in their chat so if i was looking wouldn't it make more sense to go into a huge chat and ask for su subscribers people were like then harassing her they had they did they did some digging or whatever and they, of course they have to go over there and be like we're reporting your channel like they're just being nasty to her and whatever you know and now they think that it's like my problem that they did this it's their doing you know so i don't care i don't know this person in real life i think it's disgusting what people are doing to her nothing to do with me i didn't do a thing i didn't report her i didn't do any of that so that's all you're doing so you can blame yourselves and call yourselves the nasty people no she's not a reaction channel she's just a youtuber from the middle east you know anyway back to chantal raging about pete's no you're not in kuwait and Sal Salah is not Kuwaiti. Um, he's also an expat. But they have opened up family visas now. Glad you haven't let anything drive a wedge between you and peace. No, it's not gonna happen. I just told him, like, I'm sure you didn't mean anything by it, but just don't ever, like, talk about me at all, period, you know? And I'm sure he'll be okay with that. He usually doesn't. I'm sure he just was talking and not realizing. You know what? People bait him very hard. They bait him for information about me. I see it sometimes in his chats. But once person changes, not another person's concern. People should be adult enough to respect it. Just some some uh, cold stale tea that uh, reaction channels think is a big one up. Now I've told Pete's never to even mention me. He won't. So good luck with that. We're not going to not, uh, you know, be against each other. And you don't know my current status just because I told him at one point that I, his mother that I used to do that. So good luck with your cold stale loser tea is the audio okay i'm just defending myself i'm just pointing out about the whole situation it's gonna go nowhere as usual edgy and cool and gonna reply for me to talk about them because you're pathetic but the fact that you support an abuse makes you a really pathetic person so good for you oh the irony it's too much no i'm not mad at pete's at all i'm not mad at pete's at all no animal abuse lies how about um, FF loser sm chain smoking in front of her animals? Her nails overgrowing while I was away and then me going to deal with it when I got back is not animal. Idiot. Maybe it's a sign not to talk about stupid things.